one thing I hate in a romance genre anime, one thing, it would be the cliche interruption between a confession. I've seen too much of this crap that it really just pisses me off. This is my own personal preference. I'm not saying this episode was crap, so don't think that. I'm just saying that is one of the most irritating things for me as a watcher of anime, especially for the romance genre, because it's just so convenient interruptions that are just, it pisses you off, especially how a fucking baseball comes through a window, interrupts the entire cute and adorable confession between Raku and Onodera, and just the entire mood is killed, and so is the atmosphere. That is one thing that pisses me off a lot. But besides this entire aspect of the episode, this episode was a very enjoyable watch. I felt like they really got the mood and setting of this episode great. I felt like the backgrounds really just shined out into the entire audience. Once again, Shaft is another great work of an episode. There was some, once again, Monogatari vibes in this episode with the up-close eye shots. We're trying to get upskirts of, you know, I'm guessing panty shots. But really, it didn't focus on it much. Majority of this was actually really adorable moments of Onodera, which was outright just cute. I mean, when you see her go all a little chibi mode and her eyes just get all freaking big, I don't know if anyone else was. I was like, oh, that's so adorable. But, I mean, really good episode. I mean, I love the entire antics between Rui and Onodera try just trying to talk about how to confessing to freaking Raku, which... Well, leaves me interested, because as you all know, I really like Onodera's character. I mean, I love her entire, I guess, voice actor. She's a really good voice actor, along with her character design. Yes, she's cliche character design, but I just like those type of characters. But Shitoge actually got some character development this episode, which was very shocking. The Pretty much the first part of this episode started off with, you know, Shitoge trying to say thank you or sorry to Rocky for punching him twice on saving her and drowning in the pool. So... I mean, it was really cool. That's actually some form of cliche too in and of itself. But I mean, I think the entire of Nisikoi is built upon cliches. But it does it in a way that it works, honestly. So looking past the cliches, I want to say, though, the entire moment of freaking Shitoge trying to apologize or thank freaking Raku. I and mean, then she's punching him in the face, slapping him in the face, kicking him in the face. And they have to do three different takes. And that's where the comedy element comes in. So I got some good laughs in that. I mean, and at the entire conclusion of the third take, we get to see that freaking Chitoge is starting to have some form of romance building up inside of her for Raku. Which is really entertaining because, I mean, all those Chitoge fans out there right now that want to see Raku and Chitoge together... Really probably enjoyed this episode quite a bit because you get to see that romance starting to form. You got freaking Chitoge actually starting to question why she cares so much about his locket, his pendant that he dropped. And she actually fixes it, welds it back together. And so I felt like this was a really good actual character development episode between these two characters. And I felt like this episode all around was a very entertaining episode. I'm questioning exactly, though, exactly how can they make the series any better the way with the romance. I mean, it looks like we're going to have another actual love interest join the battle of this love triangle or love square, whatever you want to call it. Because at the ending of this episode, after the ending of the credits, we get to see Claude talking to some guy, his apprentice, he's trained to hunt down Raku. Now, judging that this is a rom-com, okay, and technically they can't really add any killing, so th that's out of the question. I feel like this new character that's about to be introduced next episode is going to be a love interest to try to persuade Shitoge into loving him. So I feel like that's going to add a nice interesting twist. It's going to have, you know, t actually two male characters after one female, and then you're going to have Onodera over on the other side trying to gun for Raku. So it's like, you know, just different aspects of, I guess, a diamond actually. It's not a diamond, it's more like of a, a set of a love triangle. Felt like this episode, though, had the right feels with romance, so hopefully they continue this up in the next episode, and hopefully Shaft continues to animate just great quality anime production, because this series has definitely taken on a completely different light than I've ever felt in one of their works. I mean, you can clearly see a lot of different works they've done over the past with Madoka Magica and Bakamonogatari into this series with the way they love doing their camera angles, and I think that is what makes this have such a unique vibe. Anyways, this is going to be the end of my anime review on Nisikoi this week. Tell me your thoughts on this episode, and did you enjoy it? What you feel about the love diamond starting to come into place? Y'all want a day or not, wherever you live, please stay safe. GBL.